Wow, what's that? Uh, uh, the chicken, not the kitchen. Oh, wow. Dinosaur skeleton. Good oh, job. Teeth. Teeth? You can draw the teeth, are you? Okay, draw the teeth. Oh, that's amazing. Great job. Hello everyone, I'm Nicola and this is my son. Oh, what is your name? Mm. You. Hello. Oh, and where's Appa? I don't know. Oh, Appa is at work. So we are going to do a video together. Does that sound fun? Mm. Can you hear the cicadas outside? Yeah. Yeah, what, what's cicada in Korean, in Upper Mal? Do you remember? Memi. Memi, yeah. So as most of you know, we raise Yule in a bilingual home. So we live in Korea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we live in Korea, don't we? Yeah. Where's mummy from? Uh, Hoju. Hoju, that's right, Australia. So I speak English to him and Hugh speaks Korean to him, but he hears us speaking English to each other. And then he hears Korean in the community at daycare and that type of thing. So both languages he knows quite equally at this point. A lot of people have questions about whether he favors one language over the other, but he doesn't really. It's just the situation, the circumstance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, sometimes some words in some languages just sound funnier or better, don't they? So today I wanted to talk about some words that even when you're speaking English to mummy, you like to say them in Korean, don't you? No. No. Do you know what mummy's talking about? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> so one word that you say to mummy a lot that's still in Korean is monde. Do you say that to mummy? Yeah. Yeah, and that just means like what? So sometimes if I laugh at something or I say something, he'll be like, monde, mummy. Monde, mummy. Do you say it like that? Yeah. Monde. Monday? 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 <laughs> do you like the sound of that one more, do you? Yeah. I feel like it's a little bit more, I don't know, easier or cuter to say as well. Monday? And he doesn't pair it with like omma, which is the Korean word for mum. He pairs it with mummy. And then we'll continue in English. Monday, mummy? Monday, mummy? Yeah, like that. Another word that you like to always say in Korean instead of English is. <gasps> Ondongi. Ondongi. What does ondongi mean? <laughs> but. but. It means but, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a stinky butt. Stinky butt. Unga. Unga. That's another word on our list. Unga, unga, unga. Yeah, okay. So ondongi means butt, and then unga means pooping. So, do these words just sound funnier in Upper Mal in Korean? Yeah. yeah. And what about um, the word dong? Dong. Yeah. You like to say that in Korean. What do you like better? Do you like dong or poop? Uh, dong. Dong. Yeah. That sounds better in Korean to you, does it? <laughs> Mummy knows what you mean when you say dong. As a three-year-old, there's lots of words that you like to use like that, isn't there? Mm. Something we haven't talked about, another word mm. that we use in Korean more than English is we say dongseng, don't we? Mm. It's a little bit easier to say that, which means younger sibling and there's a younger sibling here. Thank you. <laughs> there's a younger sibling here. So instead of saying, oh, your younger sibling, we could just say dongseng, which could mean boy or girl younger sibling. Thank, thank you for doing that. Uh, it's a bubble thing, is it? Mm. Mm. Now it's broken. Now it's broken. Oh dear. It coming not bubble. No bubbles are coming out. Mm. Yeah. Okay, what is this toy here? Indominus Rex. Indominus Rex. Yeah. From Jurassic World, isn't it? Yeah. It's a hybrid dinosaur. Okay, another word that in our family household, because we are in Korea, so sometimes it makes more sense. Indoraptor. Sometimes it makes more sense to just say the Korean word. So things like bread, we often just say bang, which means bread, um, instead of just saying bread. And also the Korean word bang kind of means, yes? You can play a little bit. The Korean word bang actually means like a larger range of bread. Like bread can be a bit more specific in 
English and then we use different words for different types of like pastries or that type of thing but in Korean bun can just sort of mean a whole range of things so sometimes it's easier to use that. All things like uyu which means milk like often I will just say that even though I'm speaking English 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 I might just use the Korean word like that. Of course one of the big questions when you are raising a bilingual child even though it, I mean it's such a common thing in so many countries around the world but you know people from monolingual countries or are just in a monolingual environment they <laughs> i can hear some noisy dinosaurs over there they worry like is the child confused and like we've talked about this in other videos as well the child is not confused you know as they're learning they know which language it is so because he's learning things naturally um, he's not really confused. He understands that there's two different languages. He understands that there's more languages in the world now as well. One of the things that we do explain sometimes is that Korean, <laughs> Korean has uh, English loanwords. So sometimes he'll learn something in Korean and then be like, well, what is that in mommy's language? And be like, it's the same, it's the same word. It might have like a little different emphasis or a little different accent to it, but it's the same word because there's loan words yeah hello hello is that on your head yeah. what is it doing on your head i don't know you don't know <laughs> ah. what is it what that oh it looks like the stand for the light ring <laughs> it looks like that does it <laughs> i find it really hard to um catch a lot of his uh just natural English conversation on camera uh, because hey, mommy yeah let's now. it's like the same one isn't it mm. yeah you know because he's not going to talk to the camera the same way that he he will talk to us just naturally oh this is the book about what is this book about dong, dong. and what's dong in um, English um, poop. poop it's a book about pooping you'll find a lot of those ones in Korean <laughs> Nga. Here we go. Here is a, a natural example of words. Even though he's talking to me, he's going to use the Korean words because they're funnier. <laughs> Are you having fun staying with mummy at home? Because it's your summer vacation now, isn't it? Yeah. You don't have ordinary jib, you don't have daycare. That's another word that we often say in Korean instead of English. I will say ordinary jib to him because we're in a Korean environment. So he understands daycare, he knows what daycare means, but <laughs> it just makes sense to use the Korean word then. Is that a sword, is it? Is it a sword? Yeah. Yeah? Anything you want to talk about? Carnivore herbivore. Carnivore herbivore, yeah. Which dinosaurs are carnivores? Which dinosaurs are herbivores? Carnivore like baby, herbivore, detector. Triceratops. Yeah, what about Tyrannosaurus? What's Tyrannosaurus? Oh, carnivore. Mmm, carnivore. What about Stegosaurus? Oh, herbivore. Yeah, oh, no, you were so smart. <laughs> ah, my <mommy's laughs> face. <laughs> hey, excuse you. Excuse you. <laughs> ah, poor mommy. <laughs> poor mommy. Poor <laughs> mommy. Um, Poor Yule, why poor Yule? <laughs> poor my poor yeah. Yule. <laughs> oh, poor everybody. Okay. I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight into the way that we do our one parent, one language method. So, even though I'm speaking in English to him all the time, and he was speaking in Korean to him all the time, you don't have to be super, super strict with it. Depending on the environment, depending on the community you're in, there's going to be some words that you're going to switch out. Even though he knows both versions of them, you're going to use something that's more comfortable in that moment. And I'm sure if we end up living in Australia, it will switch as well what words that we're more comfortable using. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. That's something you like to say all the time. I don't know. Okay, thank you for watching this video and please subscribe if you would like to subscribe. We do videos about being an intercultural family, Australian, Korean, living in Seoul, South Korea. Uh, one child here and one child on the way. On the way. On the way. Okay. <laughs> thank you. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Perfect example of what I was talking about. On dongi. On dongi. On dongi.
Ja, om dan niet te ja. Nee, ik heb een paar example of mixing the Korean and English. Om dan niet te ja. Mommy needs to get up to turn the camera. Bump. Bumpy people want to see the bump. Doo Bump, bump, bump. Where's the, where's the dong sang? No, stop with the on dongy. Where's the dong sang? Oh, mommy, daddy, underly. <laughs> Not in my butt. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> In mommy's belly. Mommy Baby's in mommy's belly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's turn this off.